The next stop is Broadway, Lafayette Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Bing, bing. <laughs> All right, this is track by track. It's a little uh, music review type of thing that we're going to start doing. Um, and that what you just heard right there was the very, very first thing you heard uh, had you have listened to Spread Eagle's Subway to the Stars disc, the new disc from them that was released on August 9th. On Frontier. On Frontier's records. records. That is correct. Yes. <clears throat> so... Obviously, Subway to the Stars, so you got to have a lot of Subway um, sound effects. Well, I mean that. And well, you don't need to. They're a New York band. Yes, well, so you, but, you, but you don't need to have no, all No, but I mean, other than rats, however, what defines New York? However, they filled this damn album with Subway tracks all the way through. That's right. That's the biggest complaint I have about this album. See, and if, and if, that's, if that's the biggest complaint I have about this album, the rest of it's fucking golden. I don't know why you're complaining about it. I'm not complaining about you're just, it. You're just not seeing the the point to it and the coolness to it. I'm not? Okay. No. Right. Because each track on the record mm -hmm. is a different quote-unquote stop. But so, it's not because they don't all have those. Well, sort of. No. Stop being so fucking no, technical. It's not sort of. It's, it, <sighs> is, it is or not. Son of a bitch. Anyway, this <laughs> this is a little <laughs> this is a little uh, uh, short little snippet. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and... Play a couple of snippets track from each. Track by track, right? Track by track, oh, actually, yes. And um, the first track on the on the uh, on the disc is called "Subway to the Stars," and uh, this is a little bit of what that one sounds like here. I gotta tell you, the, the 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 best part about that right there is just the way that it comes in. You got the guitar playing hard, you got the drums kicking ass, you got you got uh, Rob's bass just going going with the flow, doing that thing, and then you got Ray coming in and screaming the fuck out of his voice. That basically just says, "You hey motherfuckers, remember us? We're back." Yeah. And I fucking dig that track so much. I love that track. I just love that it opens up with a scream. Yeah, like if if you are going to put out a spread eagle. 30 years later this is it that's how you start yeah that's exactly yeah, it absolutely but uh subway to the stars that's a, that's a that's a really good tune there love it um one of my top three yeah yeah i, I would have to do that as well uh, yeah. like maybe top three yeah maybe four but um and again this we're just going through it we're not like really going like well you know the um the guitar sound on this t the tone that we got yeah. here you know we're not we're not gonna geek it out or anything like that because well, we can a little bit you can but i can't yeah i just be like i like it or i don't because i don't know how to play any of this shit here's so. <laughs> here's the thing with this entire record beginning to end what this thing has throughout the entire thing is serious grooves mm -hmm. oh absolutely like, you may not like every track on here but there is a major groove in every track on here. Mm -hmm. Like some of the songs that maybe aren't my top favorites of it, I still find stuck in my head. So do I. Yeah. So there's, we'll get to this in a few minutes. There's one track on here. It is is the weakest track to me on this album. Mm. I don't hate it, but I almost hate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, anyway, the second track on that is called the 29th of February. That's right. The 29th of February. Right. Not February. <laughs> February. Ray, thank you so much for saying Feb uh, February instead of February. Who you says know, that? That's officially how it's supposed to be sounded. February. Says who? That's how it's spelled. I know that. But Look it up. Yeah, well, Brett Favre is spelled Favre. Favre. So, I, but anyway, 29th of Feb February is, uh, and, he, and he sings it as 29th of right, February. Let's hear, let's hear this clip. Everybody's getting older. That's the truth. But you just stay the same. Miss another birthday. Sleeping on the train.
that's one of the first ones that got stuck in my head like a friggin' earworm. I like to call that the syllable song. The syllable song. Yeah. Because that's a lot of syllables to fit into the into the short phrase. <laughs> I mean, if you can rhyme stuff with the 29th of February, you're doing something right. Well, there's a party in the cemetery, so he did right. it right. No, I, I just think it's cool. That's but that's a lot of syllables in that in that syllable song. Yeah. syllable. So, anyway, uh, but yeah, that's the first song that like really caught my attention. Yeah. Um, because I played it through Spotify. Mm. I didn't order it yet. I'm I'm, I'm a schmuck. Mm. You know, whatever. Mm. I'll order it eventually. Um, I'll get it when we drive down to Ray's house. <laughs> I spoke to him. I spoke to him over the weekend. He said, "No, there's not going to be a, a barbecue anytime soon." Uh, <laughs> no hurricane. However, okay. um, that was the first one uh, that that caught my my ear because I listened to it on Spotify on rotate. You know, on, on uh, what do you call it? on shuffle play? Gotcha. And that's the one that popped up. I'm like, "Whoa, I like this tune." Yeah. But um, anyway, so that was that was uh, the 29th of February, and um, the third tune. On this track, on the uh, on the disc, it's called uh, well, "Sound of Speed," as we know mm -hmm. this one. Right. And um, <clears throat> there was a video out for this one. This is the one that we played well, and still play the shit out of on Hard as a Rock Radio yes. Rocks. And um, you all know this one. We've played it many times before. We've sung its raves, and uh, here's just a little snippet of that as well. love that scream in the background just enough, you know? just enough. <laughs> yeah perfect amount of screams mm -hmm. on this record I, I can't hear that without seeing that little kid lapping him in the in the video yeah flicking the bird yep at yeah. the very end yeah, yeah I I, that's that's just a great I video that that song is amazing mm -hmm. i mean Zeev did phenomenal guitar work throughout this entire record yeah i mean yeah. just just the little solos that accompany and man i tell you what rob plays bass like a guitarist Oh yeah, no, he really does. I, th I've always liked Rob's bass playing. Yeah. This album here, however, I'm like, wow, he's really, yeah. really good. Yeah. You know, and it, you know, I hate to say like, oh, you know, I just considered him this guy, but like a run of the mill type of thing. But he's oh, not. You don't, he's totally not. Yeah. You don't play with the bands that he. Plays oh my god. With yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Average, and yeah. right. And you know, not a fan of UFO, so I don't know. Yeah. You know, uh, Sebastian Bach. I haven't heard anything. Uh, uh, solo from him i have so. i've heard some stuff have you? yeah See, yeah, I, yeah. I, it's he, he, believe it or not sebastian's got some really good tracks yeah but because of the, i guess the music industry the way it is mm -hmm. you you're just not never hear, hear it so and much. that's the thing you know out of sight out of mind you know it's not like i log on to spotify and like i'm gonna go get some master bach yeah and listen to that stuff i have you know just to check have it you out. See, yeah yeah i don't think about it I, I guess it's my own fault but um yeah rob deluca man he's a fucking madman on that mm -hmm. thing i i i <laughs> <clears throat> think of all of the da -da 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 he does yeah and i was like holy billy she you know anyway um the hell was i even going with that uh, we're Whatever. gonna go to the track four we're gonna go <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go what i we're gonna go with the track four and um this is what i normally cause because i get these brain farts this is called dead air It's funny, Dead Air is one of these tunes that I really like, I really dig it a lot. However, when it's playing, I was like, oh, that's right, that's that friggin' tune that I love. You know? So, um, yeah, that's that's Dead Air, and again, it's it's one of those things that gets stuck in your head. Killer groove. It, yeah. The, yes. The, the bottom end of that mm -hmm. song is just real driving, and it's, it's heavy but melodic. Yes. I love the fact that no matter <laughs> what... Any of these songs, you could still hear the the growls, the screams, yeah. 
that Ray's still the doing. The classic Spread Eagle sound. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's the best part about this album. It, it still sounds like Spread Eagle. Yeah. Um, and you were saying something about how uh, uh, the guitar parts were mm -hmm. just like really... I I'm thinking um, Paul DeBartolo who? Eh. eh, no, come on. Mm. You got to give him that. No, I will. Paul's great. He is Salvador's great. great. He is. However... Zeeve, Zeeve's oh, awesome. Yes. Like I follow oh him on Instagram. Yes. You should see him. He plays all kinds of Does stuff. Does he? He plays yeah. a lot of like classical type. Mm. Man, mm. the guy's amazing. Yes. He is amazing. Uh, track number five is what I call the Denny song. This is Grand Scam. <laughs> Now I call this the Grant the uh, the Denny song because when we first were talking about it when we first played it on uh, on the Monkey Business podcast uh, I accidentally called it the uh, Grand Slam yes. as the name of the song. Yes. So then it's like you know Grand Scam, uh, but I was singing uh, Grand Slam. Yes. With a side of ham. Right. So that's why I called the Denny song. Because you were hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Look at me. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, that was the second uh, release off the album, and you know that's just that's just a it, it rip your head off and and throw it around the room. Type yeah, of song I, right I there. feel like there may be some political undertones to no. that song. You think so? Maybe. Or but maybe, I, I dig maybe it. he got mad at, at, at maybe he went to Walmart or something like that. And what do you mean I can't return this? What kind of fucking scam is this? You know, and the grand scam was Yeah, probably not. No. Anyway, um, this has nothing to do with Metallica. However, this reminds me of Metallica. And I think it's just because of the the the, the title of the song. More Wolf Than Lamb. Yeah. And I think that's the only thing, because every time I see it, I think of Metallica. That's and weird. I, it is weird, and I can't stand it, because the Metallica stuff is no longer any good. But um, anyway, here's a quick little uh, snippet of that as well. Okay. Bleeding letter you wrote. So earlier I was saying that, you know, you find yourself singing mm -hmm. that this is the one. That's the one for you? Yeah. Like I, I was out cutting the grass, listening to something totally different on my headphones, mm -hmm. and I'm singing this song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't that bode well for what you're really listening to, does yeah, it? Yeah, I guess. But <laughs> no, this, this, that, yeah, that groove just gets stuck in my mm -hmm. head. And yep. it's a cool lyric. It is. I, I like the, uh, the 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 angry growl. Yeah, uh, right I like with, it. With that there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> here's a, here's the uh, track seven. I told you this wasn't going to be a very uh, bright, uh, 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 smart discussion about this stuff. It was well, just I like, yeah, hey, this is a good song. I like this. This is what I like about this song. This is well, what I, I mean, we could sit so, here and dissect the chords and what key they're in. Yeah, and, I don't. And, I, you know, different fills or beats. Again, you could do that. that. I would sit here and be going, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's cool. So, because I don't, you know, I don't do. It. Yeah. Anyway, track seven, cut through. Now that track there reminds me of old Alice Cooper. 
it, it kind of seems weird, but I think it's just the progression of the da 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 because that that right there reminds me of a bunch of Alice Cooper songs from you know the seventies when the Alice Cooper band was I, a thing. Yeah, I can see that. But <clears throat> but yeah, that's I, I obviously being a Cooper fan, instantly loved it because that's what I associate it with. So I, I like that. Like at first, when I first heard that song, mm-hmm. I was like, mm, not real sure on that one. But then the more I heard it. I, I that's the thing it's got a heaviness to it but it's still got kick-ass melody mm-hmm. and that's that's spread eagle yeah um since we're not professional reviewers since and who? since we don't really hold it pulled back any truth i actually when i i was checking up on ray to find out how he was doing for the hurricane mm-hmm. and i told him we were going to do a thing here and um i'm like but i'm not going to hold back on anything because i'm not going to kiss anybody's ass and he's like, "All right, that's that's good, man. That's I like I like that. It's that's good. This is where I don't kiss the ass. Okay, this is the weak oh. this is the weak spot on the record, to me. I don't want, like I said, I don't I don't hate this song. It does get stuck in my head a little bit here and there, mm. but is definitely not the track that I would say, hey, let put that track on, put put little put little uh, serpentine on because I want to hear that one. I you know I can't disagree with you. You know if if." You know, being whatever record company guy, mm-hmm. if I had to tell them, hey, we need to get you down to 10 tracks on this, that's the that one that's would gone be the instantly. one that I would say, hey, let's right. let's And I feel bad one. because we don't know the, the backstory for this thing. This could be written for a, one of his kids or something like it, that. It could you know, be, I, but... It could have a really big sentimental type of thing, and here I am just shitting on it. Uh, but here's a, little, here's a little snippet of... Uh, Your shits aren't small either. Yeah, oh, <laughs> bet your ass. A uh, little serpentine is what this one's called here. I left that little part in that boom, boom, boom. I cool bass I love that part. Yeah, yeah. you know, it, it might not be one of my favorites whatsoever. However, there's been many songs that I've hated back in the day that I'm like really like now. So this may or may not end up like one of those. Yeah. Well, but I mean, it's hard to like eleven everything. songs exactly. out of eleven you, songs. You can't please everybody all the time, no. and that's what this is. <clears throat> You know, you guys have pleased me, um, what, 10 times right here on this record? Whoa. Whoa, easy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, but I know this next one is is one of your favorites. It is. And the ironic thing about it is I have my Spotify open yes, at you the do. moment. Yes, you do. And, like, off to the right, it tells you what your friends are listening who's, who's to. Who's listening to right? Right, right. Uh, this particular song, which is Antisocial Butterfly, is being listened to by none other than Rob DeLuca. Get out of here. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that and just kind of chuckled to myself. That was that was all right. Because cool. you got it. You got to listen to your own stuff. Find out what you did. You got to absolutely. You got to learn it. And he's Play listening to one of my top favorite songs on this record, right now or this one, Antisocial Butterfly. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I didn't know if he was still <laughs> online listening to something. Oh, no. This is the last thing listed, but gotcha. Still cool. All right. Well, here's here's a little bit of that one. And of course, I cut off the guitar right there. Yeah. I, sh- I shouldn't have, but you know. I was like, but again, you know, a anyway. little heavy, cool guitar riffs, and right. then it busts into the melodic chorus, which they do a lot, and I love it. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I really, I really, really, really like that song, and I like the the lyrics and the title because I can be a bit of an antisocial butterfly myself. You? I know, uh, I know. It's hard to believe. I don't. I don't buy that for one second. You are such a ball of joy. I am a ball of joy. You're a ball of something. Two balls of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, anyway, so this takes us to uh, track number ten, 
And um, the Electric Angels is what I think when I when I play this tune. And I think it's because the Electric Angels were a band uh, that had Ryan Roxy in it, who is now in Alice Cooper's band, and just a couple of other people that I, I can't remember at all who they were. Um, they only had one album out, and then fast forward another 25 years, they put another one out. Um, but this is the type of song to me that they would do just like with the all of the references throughout the song and this is a uh, gutter rhymes for valentine I just love all of the references to um, just scorn, uh, you know, just, just just horrible things that happen to to these people in the song, which I'm assuming is, you know, what it's all about. But yeah, no, I like it. Just yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, not quite as is. I know it's uh, not a rock and no, it's hard not as, rock as tune, groove heavy, but it's it's a very but good. Is, yeah, um, you know, I almost I almost want to say a pop rock tune. But for Spread yeah. Eagle, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that yeah. would be. That right. would be because, like, uh, uh, Antisocial Butterfly to me is kind of more of a punk edged type song. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give it to you. <clears throat> and then, okay, yeah, and so we we round out the uh, the eleven tunes uh, with the song that we played last week on the show on the uh, Monkey Business Podcast called uh, Solitaire, which um, just goes to reiterate how good uh, Ray's voice actually is, mm-hmm. and. Um, well, if you, if you listened to the show last week, you heard it. But here's a little uh, here's a little bit of solitaire. I fucking love this guy's voice. It's a great song. Sister ballroom dancer, good time romancer. Don't let the money man take your love away. She says I don't feel no sorrow. Sometimes I got a big steel borrow. Wish I could turn back the hands of time today. But you know the time don't kill the pain So I'll take a little charity And I'll be on my way Yeah If I have to deal my time I don't care Deal my solitaire If I have to live a thousand lives I don't care I'll deal my solitaire Solitaire That's kind of weird. I never noticed this before. What? Okay, when I'm, when I'm listening to this, I'm usually in the car. Mm. And because I have the headphones on, I almost feel as if there was a, uh, uh, not an accordion, well, maybe an accordion. In that song, well, there's two guitars, right? But there was an accordion or something towards the end of it, like doo, 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 doo. did you not hear that part? I you, don't know. You didn't hear that part either, did you? Anyway, I'll have to find out about that. <laughs> but uh, before I forget, I mean, we haven't even mentioned Rick <laughs> at all, <laughs> and I feel terrible because Rick not only played drums mm-hmm. on this record and has been, uh, from what it seems to me, Rick seems to have been the catalyst for Spread Eagle the last few years because I know he does their merch. I know he recorded and produced. Mm-hmm. Um, I know he did a ton of the behind-the-scenes work right, on right. this record. So I want to give... Well, it's not like we haven't mentioned what he... <clears throat> we just haven't mentioned him by name. Well, right, but you know, I, I wanted yeah. to take the time to do that I because, gotcha. you know, a lot of times the drummer is the unsung guy. You're just saying that because you play drums. No, I play guitar too. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, want, I, you just want somebody to acknowledge you. No, that don't, no don't, I don't. don't I just me. I wanted to... You know, say what a great job he did. On yeah, this. no, they all did. Let's be honest, they all really did. Yeah, and um, this album you can uh, you can get at spreadeagle.us. 
Mm-hmm. That's their website, or you can go to frontiers.shop, and I believe it's on there. Yep. That's the uh, the record company. They may still have and some of the autographed ones available. That's true. You know what? I should look into that before those are gone. <clears throat> you should. You should, too, bitch. I should. So I should. But also, even though it's not this record, I did want to point out the fact that their second record, Open to the Public, mm-hmm. even though it didn't get critical acclaim or At all. You know, whatever, yeah. that record is great. Preacher Man is always stuck in my head. Dude. Preacher Man, not but the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear. Wow. Shut up. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's track by track. That was uh, Spread Eagles open to open to the public. Listen to me. Before we, before we stop. Yes. Before we stop. Just out of shits and giggles, top three tracks on this album. Yeah. Uh, top track. I get, mm. see. I want to say solitaire because I just really like the voice. Mm-hmm. I really like his voice when it comes to that. Well, everything. The guitar work is great. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Sense. No. I yeah. mean, it just. That reminds me so much of Through These Eyes, the beginning of Through These Eyes. Mm-hmm. So, And I really liked that back in the day. So that's got to be in my top three, I do believe. Um, another one that's going to be in the top is 29th of February. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really dig that one. And then <clears throat> probably Gutter Rhymes, yeah. So I'm going to go 29th of February, Gutter Rhymes for Valentine's, and Solitaire as my top three. And wow. That, that's not even the, the, I was the say, releases. None of the Check singles. that out. None of the singles. All right. If I do four, sound of speed. All right. But the, All right. But the top three are, wow. I, I'm, I'm that, going to do, do mine and throw in a fourth. Just okay. The hell of yeah. It. Well, you have and to because I, I just did. These aren't in particular order. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Neither was mine. Um, uh, solitaire mm-hmm. is up there. I like it because it's a change of pace. You know, the whole album is heavy, groovy. You know, yeah, it's a good way to end then, end the thing, just right. on mellow. Kind of a, yeah, hey, we still got this in our pocket. We can still do. Mm-hmm. It. Uh, so solitaire, subway to the stars. I mean, there's no better way to start off a record. Than, yeah, than well, that, that big ass scream yeah, and everybody else yeah. going nuts. Yeah, I dig that too. Um, sound of speed, mm-hmm. love it. I love everything about that song. Yeah, I mean, everything. No, well, um, that's in my top four now. So. <clears throat> yeah, and then <laughs> I'll I'll throw antisocial butterfly in there. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be there for you. Yeah. Yep, those four. Those four, but I mean, out of, what would you give it? Like, out of ten? You mean, it, like, out at, at of ten stars type of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Probably, like, a nine, man. A nine? Nine and a half at the, you know? Yeah, that's what I I'm mean, thinking. if it wasn't for Little Serpentina, it would get a ten. <laughs> 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 All right, that's that's mean. I'm sorry. No, I... Um, I <clears throat> But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a great album. There's not a, there's not a bad, really. There's a bad, not a bad track on this no, album. No, and it's all it's all really great, and it's all um, it's all rocking, you know. It's yeah. all rocking, dude. No, I mean, think about this, and this is for whoever happens to be listening to this. When is the last time you purchased a record mm-hmm. and you liked every single song on it? That wasn't on a compilation, right? Yeah, I mean, you're exactly. talking about you're talking about appetite for destruction you're talking about records that were monstrous Mm -hmm. or just nobody got to hear them yeah because full service from pump five would be in that category yes it would every single tune i like every track on there is great but just not a lot of people have been exposed to it they will be though i hope that doesn't happen to this record no and and we will do everything we can do to prevent that from absolutely we have to get it on the uh, heart is rock radio i would i'd give this a solid 9.5 out of 10 yeah yeah, easily. Well, so nine point five from you out of ten. Yeah, and a nine nine point two five from me. <laughs> Damn right. serpentina. Nine point two seven three four. There you six, go. Two, nine. <laughs> All right, that was track by track, and that was uh, we were talking about Spread Eagles, Subway to the Stars, and um, take a listen to that disc on Spotify, Spread Eagle dot US, uh, Frontiers dot mm-hmm. Shop. Uh, you could be, you're going to be able to hear every track from that on Heart is a Rock Radio dot rocks. Yeah, and we'll probably talk more about it on the Monkey Business Podcast dot com. Right, that's it. I agree. Ray, so. Rick, Rob, Zib did a great job. Awesome, great work. It was I, I would, <laughs> I'd say it was worth the wait, but I don't want to wait that long. Yeah, no again. shit. Good job, guys. We'll see you next time. And uh, that was track by track. Bye.